Hi everyone, my name is Nurul Umi Umi Rabinti Sabri and this is my video presentation about volleyball. Enjoy! Serving To serve a player hits the ball with their hand over the net and into the opposing team's side. If the ball doesn't go over the net or hits the ground, the point is over. The opposing team must, must now return the ball without letting it hit the ground. There are different types of serves in volleyball depending on our skill level and the competition situation. For beginners, the underhand serve is the most common because it is the easiest to learn. Now for overhand serve. For all overhand serve, you start with your dominant side, foot back and the ball head extended in your non-dominant hand. Then you toss the ball up in front of your hitting hand. How you hit it depends on the type of overhead serve you want to create. The biggest difference between the types of overhand serve is the server's body position where contact is made on the ball and the follow through. This video was shown overhand serve. Next is digging. The volleyball dig can keep your team in the game and is a key skill to develop. When the ball is attacked by your opponent, your job is to keep the ball from hitting the floor. A dig is a pass of a hard-driven ball from the other team. Like a pass, your arm position and platform remain the same. The difference is that the ball is coming from a high point above the net and hit in a downward trajectory. When passing, the ball is coming from 30 feet away and usually below the head of the net. You must react quickly and adjust accordingly. When you have to dig a ball, you have to anticipate and move to the ball, get your forearms under the ball, lean, lean into the ball as you make eye contact, dig the ball at the midline of your body if you can, if you have to reach outside your body, extend and angle your arms in the direction of the target. Setting is the second step of passing. And it can be done to either dump the ball over into an undefended spot or to set the ball into a position that allows the hitter to spike it over. The perfect set is a high ball, just inch from the net. This gives the hitter an opportunity to hit it to virtually any side or even to the rear of the opposing court. The possibilities of placement diminish the further away the ball is set from the net. If the ball is set inch away from the net, the hitter has the flexibility to hit it any way they want. Alternatively, a set that is fit away from the net only allows the hitter to aim for the back of the opposing court, making the ball easier to defend and return. Setting There are several steps that must to be followed by the player. First step, position. The player must to get under the ball in plenty of time and square their feet and shoulders to their target. Put their right foot slightly ahead of their left and keep knee slightly bent. Step 2. Footwork. Place weight on left back foot and transfer weight to right forward foot at contact. The correct body position is with ball, forehead and hips in a vertical line. Step 3. Strike. Set the ball just above the head or hairline, put con upon contact, hands move forward only. Do not let the hands move towards the head upon contact as this may result in a throw caught by the referee. And last step, follow through. Instead, contact all, contact ball and move hands through your set. Freeze with hands extended towards the target. Hands are the same distance apart upon comple completion as there will be for contact. Spiking Spiking a volleyball entails forcefully striking the ball toward the floor on the opponent's side of the net. You wait for the setter to set the ball near the net. Then approach the ball, jump and go in for the kill if the ball hits the floor before the other team can retrieve it. Your team gets a point. Make sure when you're doing the spike, hit the ball with the center of your hand. Keep your hand open with your fingers together. Rotate your arm at the shoulder and wave your forearm forward to move your hand quickly.
towards the ball and make contact. Snap your wrist downward to impart a top spin and direct the ball down into your opponent's court. Being a good blocker is a vital skill all great players should perfect. As a blocker, it's your job to stop the ball that the opposing team's hitter has just hit as hard as they can. Position for a block While the ball is on the other side of the net, begin to anticipate where the ball is going to be hit. Blockers should be in a ready position to block with arm, arms up, with elbow out in front of you and their palms facing the net above the eye level. Players should be ready to jump and block the ball at any second because the ball can come over unexpectedly. Next, the stationary arms. Blockers should not swing their arms into the net. If you swing your arms, the timing of the block may be off and you will likely miss the ball. Make sure that when you jump, you spread your fingers out and jump with strong hand. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.